Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to uh, the Big Man Plays Star Trek Next Generation Futures Past for the Super NES. Well, we're now on mission, uh, one, two, three, four. And the mission is to go rescue some miners on Orentis Gamma 3B. Now, the thing was, I had done this one before, so this isn't exactly blind, because number one, I did it before, number two, I had to use a fact, because I got lost and Data died. Because this place is a freaking... Crap, what the frick? This place is a freaking maze. That I'm about to come up on. Arentis Gamma 3B. Arentis Gamma 3B. Arentis. Arentis. Arentis Gamma 3B. Oh, God. I'm singing. Gamma 3B. Thank you. Now. I will... Cut out the battles just because they're a pain. I'm getting better at them, but this is still taking a long time. Oh, we have a we have a communication. Orentis is Baldwin. Yes, uh, Ampris, this is Baldwin. The miners on Orentis Gamma 3B really need help right now. See to it. Okay. All right, I'm getting attacked. I'll be right back. Finally, I'm back after dying after having two fights. Dying on the second one because the computers are cheap ass. And then having to go through two more fights. Yes. I say it once, I say it again. The space battles in this game are horrible. Anyway, we finally made it here. Here's the briefing. A distress signal has brought the Enterprise to Rentus Gamma 3B, where ten miners are trapped below the surface of the moon. We must send in our way team to investigate the matter, because... The palentium and rivarium in the mines interfere with our sensors. We can't tell how many beings are down there, or precisely where they are. Well, uh, yes we can. We can scan it. <laughs> oh, well, okay, I guess we can't. Life forms are known, sentient human structures, mining... Alpha's defense is none other. Gamma Orantis 3B is a rich source of Palladium Vivarium, two minerals whose chemicals property, chemical properties are currently being examined by Starfleet scientists. Human life forms detected on the surface. Lovely. Okay, now. We receive a report that ten miners are missing below the surface of the moon. Find them and make sure they are safe. But be careful, this moon is largely unexplored and there may be some dangers we don't know about. Okay, now, the problem is, Data is uh, the only one that can really do this, because if you try to use anyone else, they will die, because the air is either non-existent or toxic. So the only one who can actually do this is Data. Which ain't so bad as long as you don't get lost and just start wasting phaser energy and health just wandering. Like I did last time. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. And let's hope I can actually shorten this enough to work. Cam Studio will not give me a problem. See? Air quality is bad. The second you step in, there'll be problems. Now, see, that's pretty easy. You walk over there. And do that, and the air quality's fine. But in the other sections, oh, no, sir. Oh, crap, here they come. Oh, look, it's the giant worm penises. Annoying little creatures. You can't kill them, they just, you shoot them to, to get them to go away. But anyway, um... Yeah, some of the ventilation switches are hidden. You have to actually go hunting for them in order to get the air quality good. And if you're not quick enough, 
Oh, I'm sorry, your crew's just suffocated to death. I hope you're not too angry. I think I'm going the wrong way. Possi wait, no, no, never mind. Ever the next level. Let this go. Now, what I did is when I read that fact, I wrote down how many miners were in each area. So that way, I know when I was done. Okay, in this one, in this second level, there are three. Whoops. I think I should go this way. There are three miners in this area. Hopefully, that should. Would you die already? Oh boy. Yeah, this is definitely a frustrating level. It's not so much, as, Mag, as Magma said, it's not so much a maze as it is a fact that uh, all the walls are cracking the same. And because of that problem, you don't know which way to go. And it's very, okay, I know there's one, one or two up here. You know, it's just... Oh, God. Die. Cause if you don't shoot those, they'll follow you for, like, good part of the freaking level if you don't. Like that. Luckily, Data can out-walk them. <laughs> and I'm back here when I don't want to be. Yeah, I'm tired. But yeah, you know, it's if this game was just the away missions, it'd be more enjoyable. Because the away, the away missions, although difficult, they're actually challenging, and they're not that frustrating except for this fracking level. You know? They're... In the wrong way again. They're not that bad. You know, if the game was just the away missions, it'd be better. Aha! Found one. Air quality is bad. Lovely. There must be another switch I need to hit somewhere. Yeah, see, that's another problem. Now, be, now, because they have ventilation helmets on, I guess, they don't need to worry about the air quality. But, if you want to have a challenge, I'll find the button. Somewhere. <laughs> See, now, the reason I think this is a more possible it's still a fracking hard game but it's still more possible for a kid to beat this Oops. than it is to beat the last game i did star trek aha there's the your yeah and you got phaser ammo too but yeah i think it's more i think it's easy kid can probably do I think I got, like, two more. You know, a kid can do this level. A kid can do this game. Whoops. Gotta check up here real quick. You know, easier than that's the last one did, the Back to the Future, because... Okay. Now they are doing it down there. It, because there's a password system. So after you beat a level... You can, uh, just get the password and go the wrong fracking way. Woo, that was close. And you just, you know, get the password, then you can quit, and then the next time you want to start up, you can, uh, ah, damn it. See, yeah, where the 
heck do Huh. But yeah, you just get the password and then quit and then you're done.